Now you looking at me as a, me as a knife reviewer who presumably has a whole bunch of knives, it's easy for the viewer to assume I have them all organized in their neat little boxes by type, by brand. Of course, all the boxes would match, clean, pristine blades, all wiped down after use. You can you can see it now, my cute little uncluttered workspace. Lots of oaks in there that photograph well for my reels, very minimalist. And you know what? I probably don't even have BO, you know, due to my lucrative Dr. Squatch sponsorship. But the actual truth is I'm running out of space, everything's a mess, and I ran out of deodorant three weeks ago. A word of warning to the other influencers out there, don't criticize Dr. Squatch's NFTs, okay? But when Holman Hadfield offered to send me their armory, which is a beautiful wood knife display case that makes my most expensive knives easily identifiable to thieves, I said yes. And now everyone who comes over can know about my socially acceptable hobby. Uh, are those switchblades? Yeah, <laughs> here's my new Pulp Fiction poster. I love Tarantino. I could talk about him all night. Can I interest you in a can of Monster or Rockstar? Now the armory here is my second, let's say, tabletop Sorry, dresser top display case. I bought one for my budding watch collection. I started out kind of hating watches and turns out I should have went with my gut because I still hate them, don't really wear them, and most importantly, the videos that I did for them didn't do very well. I wear my Apple Watch now, so you know no one wants to see a video about that. The analytics told me not enough hog in the videos. And then there's uh, my old wooden toolbox. It's actually really nice and cool, but I bought it locally. It's been quickly overwhelmed and it's currently hidden away in the cabinet. And then uh, there's this beautiful piece here, supposed to sit on top of a nice expensive dresser. You know, my track lighting highlighting the exquisite titanium milling of the Riot. You know, the one with the Damascus accents. It's very unique, you have great taste. Anyway, Holman Hadfield motto is be organized, be distinct. And I want you to know that you've got the wrong guy. Hey man, you got the wrong guy! A little call back there. But if you're that kind of guy, let's take a look at what they make, you know. You're just a slightly weird knife guy, you have a modest collection, you'd want to go with the knife deck, which displays four, you know? Or you have a larger collection, you're the type of guy that goes to all the, you know, knife shows within a 300 mile radius. Maybe the only shirts you have anymore that don't have holes in them are knife shirts, you know? That, okay, that's a little more autobiographical. Uh, you'd go with the armory, like seen here, it displays seven. That way the girls who bring home, <laughs> you know, you have disposable income. Uh, or okay, you have a watch. Might I interest you in the deck? Or the collector, you know, you got a few of them. You spent a little bit of time on your vintage Casio collection. You want your friends to know about it. Uh, there's a weekender and then uh, the daily. The daily for the guy who just has one nice expensive watch. One tutor is all you need. Spend a lot of time on male fashion advice. Or we have the uh, coin deck. If you lost all your non-fungible tokens recently, maybe all you have left are your challenge coins from weird internet personalities. These are kind of cool, you know? Weird internet challenge coins, or alternatively, you've done something with your life and you've served, so you received a coin from a commanding officer, general, master chief, you know, not a weird internet celebrity. What I'm saying, though, is Home and Hadfield have lots of cool cases for collectors of things who maybe haven't reached the hoarders of things stage yet, but maybe they have, and it's kind of hidden in the garage. And also, to look out for, they have the upcoming combo deck for watch and knife collectors. You know, check out the Kickstarter link below the video. Lots of links to check out below the video, you know. That's what happens when you watch this sort of content. But let's take a look at the armory, designed to hold 20 or 30 knives. <laughs> I'll take five. Uh, do they come in a cold steel size? Is that the next Kickstarter? So up top you have the deck with a nice clean acrylic cover that protects your sharp tools from the thing that's most harmful, dust. Now, of course now I'm gonna need a dust cover to cover the dust cover because the dust cover shows dust. Now Holman Hadfield asked me which I prefer, the black finish or the walnut, so I chose the walnut. Since I have an odd collection of old wood furniture, most of which came from thrift stores or dead family members. Oh, you can buy a thousand dollar knife but not nice furniture. Yeah. The top can hold seven of your nicest knives, or even a gonzo, and cost much less than a single knife you place in there, at least for me, as the state of the hobby is currently. Just your standard two and a half inch to four inch folder works best here. No problems with larger folders like the Protec Godfather, the Spyderco Military, or the Benchmade Crooked River. Some of your smaller traditionals will feel a little, uh, a little small in those little, the, the little holders there, little studs. 
I'm gonna swap in a few of my favorites in and out of here, you know, see what they kind of look like from the top down. Yeah, but uh, what I'm saying, those smaller traditional styles are kind of dwarfed by the pillars. Let, we're calling them pillars, okay? I think that's the word I was looking for. Now, some oddly thick knives like the Deadlock Model B might have to sit a little kind of funny to work, you know? You gotta, maybe if you have to match where they hit on the handle on every one, you'd probably tweak out. Because, you know, some of the knives with weird buttons or weird thicknesses or the pocket clips may have to, you, you have to shift them a little. Now the good news is, is they don't make the Model B anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. And then uh, below, the nice drawer yields more space. You have 12 individual pockets down there, which measure whatever you see on the screen here uh, internally. They are mostly for your smaller folders, your traditionals, like Swiss Army knives or Benchmade Propers. Those are the kind of knives that fit well here. You know, there's a little room to spare around a Benchmade Proper when inside of one of these pockets. Now the armory feels nice and solid, made mostly from uh, real wood, solid wood, you know, solid well-finished press board. It's finished all around so it's hard to tell. There aren't screws to take it apart. Uh, no chance for a clean and maintain your armory video. Sorry influencers. The felt bottom drawers here are a nice touch and I prefer a charcoal color like here to hide the oily spots from your daily KPL sessions. Knife pivot lube. Yeah, just whispered lube. The greasy knife dudes here know who they are. A little side area here allows you to awkwardly cram in some larger knives or like another 10 if you Tetris them in just right. Or you can follow the picture on the website and put your well-placed AirPods case, your internet celebrity challenge coin down below. I challenge you to sit through one of my videos. <laughs> yeah, part of the problem. Your Ray-Bans. I lost my Ray-Bans, you know. Or maybe you have a nice pen. You know what? I don't care what you put down there, okay? I don't really care. Uh, but the whole package is pretty nice. You know, the acrylic cover is nice and see-through. See-through a positive sounding adjective. I'm going to be honest though. This is a nice piece. Is it right for a disorganized father like myself? Uh, if I had a nice study and an oak desk, yes. Where kids didn't touch stuff all the time. I, you know, I do like being able to display my cool knife collection. Yeah. Display my cool knife collection. Display cool... Knife collection. Hmm. I should stop saying that. Anyway, make sure you follow Holman Hadfield on the social media. You can get signed up for their Kickstarter on their combo deck if you are a knife and watch dude. I think I'm solidly a knife guy. I do know for sure my kids are going to have a lot of bullshit to sort through once I kick it. Okay. Say hi to the patrons. They make whatever this kind of content is possible by paying my bills for my video gear that I'm always upgrading. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you do that sort of stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching.